Okay, I think we are on. Let me just, yep, good. All right, turn my volume down. Hello everyone, thanks for joining today. Today is January 11th and it's freezing. Oh, all right, hold on, someone's texting me. Okay, it's freezing out. Um, I just looked at my temperature, it's 12 degrees and it's, <laughs> I'm freezing, I have a blanket in here. I just had a almost a two hour Zoom call up here and um, it was cold, but I have a fire on downstairs so I'm very excited to uh, get warm and cozy and have a cup of tea after our live. But I didn't want to bring the tea up here because um, I don't have room for it. I have a lot of stuff on the table to share with you. So thank you very much for watching and joining. There's a few people joining. Um, say hi. My name is Christine Josty um, from Mail Something Pretty. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and um, I, um, I love what I do. And so this is a kind of a new thing that I've been doing continually. Uh, Facebook um, Tuesdays, Facebook lives on Tuesdays. So th at two 30. So thanks for joining in. And I have a fun thing to show you today. And, uh, let's see. Hi, Anita. Thank you for joining everyone. Please comment. So you know, you're there and uh, hopefully someday we can get kind of a little conversation, a little bit one-sided, but you kind of write in the comments and I talk and, um, that would be a great thing. So before we get started with the project for today, I just wanted to show you, hi, Debbie. Um, oh, I wanted to follow up with you, Debbie, to make sure you got my message. Um, I can do that later, but I want to make sure you got the answer to your question you asked me so I can follow up with you later. Yesterday, I took... Hi, Mary Lou. Excellent. Yesterday, I had club both in the morning and the night, and I was offline all day long. Um, it was my birthday, and so I decided to stay offline, and so I'm paying for it now. <laughs> I have a bunch of emails. I haven't even, like... I'm on Facebook now, but I haven't checked any of my messages, so I'm like a little behind. So um, if I haven't gotten back to you on something, I will do that by the end of today. But I wanted to um, show you a few things and then we're gonna get started. So um, there's a few things going on in January and I highlighted this in my newsletter, or uh, my email today that went out. If you didn't get it, it went out at one o'clock Eastern time, then you're not on my mailing list. So be sure you're on my mailing list. Um, by just going to mailsomethingpretty.com slash sign up. Um, thank you, Anita. Um, I had a wonderful birthday and uh, it was fun to do it with club. Hi, Mary, thank you from Colorado. Oh, he must be cold too. Uh, my brother used to live in Colorado, although he lived in Boulder and he said it would be like sunny all the time and the snow would melt right away. And so it was kind of a nice thing. Hi, Tracy. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I'm so happy so many people are joining live. Great, so let's see if I can, um, make you guys happy. So January, this is what's going on. Um, celebration, and I'm going to show you some celebration things today again. Um, I have a January special going on. Um, I signed up with Stampin' Up! 15 years ago, which is crazy, during celebration. And so i um, celebrating my 15th anniversary um, by giving away crystal gems, kind of crystal in quotation marks. Um, there's two different types of gems that kind of look like crystals. So any order over $75 in January, I am going to send you some gems as a thank you and a celebration for my anniversary. And just wanna make sure. Um, and the other thing in January is a class I'm doing, um, and I'm gonna show you the cards. Um, it's kind of like, they call them a product-based class because you get products that you keep and then plus all the stuff to make the projects. And um, so it's based around baseball or softball. Ooh, someone is honking their horn outside my window. Um, so I'm gonna show you the card. So, oh, hold on. Ooh, and hopefully, yes, you can see them. Okay, I know the light, hold on, the light's not so good. But it, I got rid of that mirror image and I wanna thank Jeannie for telling me how to do that. So you can see the words. So, um, let me actually go back and forth. So the, you're gonna get this. You're gonna get this stamp set, which is in the New Occasions catalog with uh, the class. So everyone will have their own stamp set. This ooh, this stamp here is uh, a really long stamp. So I'm gonna show you on this card how to stamp just half of it on the two pieces of paper. So with that card, and I think one of the stars fell off. There's a little red star. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a frameless. Like this is a frameless um, shaker card. There's 
little, st hopefully you can see, ah, there's stars in there in the little envelope. There they go, they're moving. So I'm gonna show you how to make that card. I'm gonna show you how to make this card. And I actually have um, changed up a couple of things. This stamp actually says most valuable dad. And I just did most valuable. I'm gonna show you a couple ways to do that. And the last card is this one. If you look closely, I changed some of these polka dots to look like baseballs. There we go, like baseballs. So I'm gonna show you that. And the fifth project is actually a little treat box. So I just kind of put trail mix in it, but kind of thinking, you know, Cracker Jacks, popcorn, peanuts, that kind of thing. Um, and then this could be, say, happy birthday instead of happy father's day. You can, you know, change that all up. Hi, Kim. Thanks for joining. Um, yes, Anita, it's all online. Um, I wasn't going to do that in-person class. So the whole class is like a to-go class. So you will get all this stuff. You also get um, your own package of these adhesive stars. You're going to get um, six by six pieces of some of the paper. And this paper can be used on future products. It's not part of the, the card. So you're going to, so you get, you know, you can leave those by themselves and then you get the papers for the card. So it's extra paper and you get the twine. There it goes. That matches. So you get all of those things. Um, all the stuff to make the cards, videos to follow along to make the cards that you can watch whenever. Um, it's not like you can watch them anytime. It's not a time thing. And you also get a raffle ticket. It's a $10 raffle ticket that will support my daughter's softball team. She's on a college softball team and they have to sell raffle tickets. So when I saw this um, set of papers and stamp set, that's kind of where my mind went. So I will keep sending that out in the emails and stuff. Um, but if you have questions, let me know and I can... Um, explain this more. The cost is $60 for local pickup and if you want it um, priority mail it's $69 and that will cover the postage. Okay talking fast I'm sorry. Um, so that's in January. So celebration, the baseball class, my anniversary special and if you want to join um, anytime but during celebration a great time to join is yeah, now or February. If you join in January um, I'll give you some anniversary, my anniversary gems also. And um, you get, for the starter kit, it's $99, which is a standard price, but you also get to choose any two stamp sets in the occasions, the new occasions catalog and the annual catalog. So that could be up to like a whole bunch of dollars. Um, you get a free paper pumpkins um, box, um, catalogs, and you get free shipping. I think I've said it all. And I mentioned that in my email today too, but. Um, so lots going on in January, but let's get to, make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's get to what we're making today. So I'm going to flip the camera. I'm so excited. Jeannie showed me how to get rid of that mirror image. So I'm just going to move my tripod a little bit, flip it down, move it over, make sure. Oh yeah, I still have to twist it though. Figuring this out. Now we just have to make sure it's straight. All right, move my lighting back so you can see. There we go. That's pretty straight, right? Let me move these and I'll move up the... Okay, there we go. So like I said, yesterday was my birthday and I got some lovely, wonderful birthday cards. And I actually, um, of all the ones I've received so far, I put them in my email today. I will post pictures of them um, on my VIP Facebook group too. So it's, I think it's just mailsomethingpretty.com slash VIP. If you're not part of that group, I'll post pictures and any more I get, I'll post pictures because they're just fabulous. So I love this, oh, I love them all. I love this card for a few reasons. I think this looks like me um, with a cup of tea, just sitting kind of gazing out the windows, which is what I do. And my, just imagine my fireplace right there. Um, and so it's pretty, but watch how this opens. So this piece opens here and then you have these lovely trees with kind of like this, like today, like a blustery um, snowy background. And then this opens up like this and it says happy birthday. And this is that marbleized paper I showed you last week with the otters. So this is one sheet of paper. This is one side of the paper and this is the other side of the paper. So I loved the construction, like I love the theme. I love the construction of it and how it worked, kind of the mechanics. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I just changed it. 
I don't have this new stamp. I don't have the trees. I have the marble paper. <laughs> That's it. So um, this is what I did. This is my interpretation of this card. You can kind of see the similar um, similarities. I made it a rainbow. So my rainbow opens and then you get that. So you still get the, the marbleized look like that. And then, so it's similar. We'll have to tag Charlotte on this too to make sure she knows that I am copying her card. All right, so we're gonna make it. So let me show you. You could really adapt this piece like to anything, right? You could a flower, a butterfly, whatever. You have that and I'll show you how to kind of attach the paper. And then this could be, this happened to be the same paper, but you could use um, any double-sided paper because you see both sides of it. Okay, so let's see. I have some of my pieces cut and some we're gonna do live. All right, so I have lots of things here. Let's move some of these things. All right, so this is that pack of marbleized paper. It happens that I used the blue paper last week and this week. Can you tell that's my favorite? Um, Valerie sent me actually, a, 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 it was a fun birthday card because it had a Valentine's theme to it, but she used a Valentine's paper. It had like hearts and candies. And then she used this as a border paper and I liked that pairing a lot, so I'll do that too. But these are all the colors you get in the pack. And so this pack is free with a $50 purchase. Um, and then you get both sides. And you get, I think like 48 sheets. You get a lot of paper in that pack, so it's a, it's a goodie. All right, so we're gonna start. This is a balmy blue, cause it kind of matches. Um, I'm just gonna cut it on four and a quarter. So I'm really cutting it in half, but the long way. And then I'm going to score it right in half at five and a half. So kind of, that's typical, right, of a regular card. It's gonna go this way, yeah, it's gonna go this way, okay. So this is where kind of our, let me have to move this for a second, our, um, it changes from a typical card. Just making sure, oh, okay, this is what I need, sorry created this this morning. I've had like a crazy day. All right, so this is in the Occasions catalog. It's a bundle called, Rain I think it's called Rainbow of Happiness. That's a stamp set. I forget what the dies are called. But you get some clouds, you get different types of rainbows and some borders. And so we're gonna use this piece, this like half rainbow right now. And also there's Celebration Rainbow Paper, which I love. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna line up the edge here. And I'm just gonna trace, actually, I'm gonna push it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna push it down a little bit so we can see more of that marble paper. And I wanna make sure, yep, yeah, okay. So I'm just double checking, right? That little measure twice, cut once. So this is going to be, this is going to be that rainbow piece. We're going to cut some of it off here and then we're going to put another piece here. So I just want to make sure I was measuring the right way. All right. So I'm just tracing the angle of that rainbow and I'm going to cut it. You like the purple, Anita? Yes, it is. The purple is beautiful. I'd, yeah. They're all really cool. The, the gray really looks, I said this last week, it looks like my bathroom floor. So I'll be making lots. And I thought the pink, my original idea for today was to do a Valentine's Day card using the pink marble paper. And I was gonna do like, to show you how to do a mirror image with the otters, but it just wasn't working out. So I swapped my idea. So maybe we'll get back to that some other time. Okay, so some of this is gonna be hidden. You're not gonna see my jagged edge, but that just shows the, the angle of the rainbow, okay? So I already cut out, right, for the sake of TV, as they say, I cut out some rainbow rays using this same die. So you get three, you get four, excuse me, colors. I kind of followed some of the colors of, um, the rainbow paper they had. And I just wanna show you, I'm gonna use my little mini cutter. 
this will all come together. I feel like I'm all over the place today. Um, my piece is out. Okay. So you don't have to cut the whole thing of all one color. You can kind of piecemeal it. So I brought a yellow just to show you. I'm going to flip this over. And so the yellow is going to be the second biggest one. So I only really want to cut this piece. So I'm just going to put my scrap to make sure, angle it, that it's there. And I can also make sure that it's right here. So when I put it in, and I cut it, isn't this mini machine so cute? Um, it's actually at $60. So if you got this, you could get a free celebration item. It really is tiny and light. It's very cute. Okay, and functional. All right, so I just got that one ray. And actually, that pipe, that's okay, because we're going to trim it. Um, so I just wanted to show you that you don't have to always cut out that same, the big piece. Okay, so... We are going to, I'm just going to glue these pieces on. Use my mat just to catch any glue just in case. <laughs> my fingers aren't working. All right, so I'm going to line up this edge with the fold and I'm going to make this go a little bit higher than my blue edge because this is a much smoother cut than my scissor my you know my scissor my scissor work and so yellow is the next piece and that was fine I kind of messed up there because I knew I was going to trim it I think rainbows are going to be pretty trendy this year I've been seeing some different um but not the typical rainbow colors I've seen a lot of like pinks and browns, um, kind of muted tones, which is kind of fun and different. All right, so I have polished pink. I use Daffodil Delight. This is Granny Apple Green. And Bermuda Bay. I kind of made these ones a little bit wider than those ones. That's fine. Oh, <clears throat> so I could leave it. I could glue this one down and leave it and keep here solid. Or on this one, I cut it. So what I did is I kind of put this back here. And I traced it. And I just cut this piece off. So that's a little more interactive. And then when I place this on there, again, I'll kind of do the same thing. I'll just cover that um, messy edge. <laughs> My fingers are so cold. They're not working. Ah. All right. Okay, so it's not quite equal, but that's fine. And then I'm going to turn it over and just trim these pieces. Like that. So there's a little half rainbow. All right, so now what we're going to do is we need to put this piece on. So I'm going to grab my trimmer back. I'm going to trim... So this I want to be, I'm going to cut it the same length, so that's at four and a quarter. But rather than trim it to um, five and a half, I need a little piece to kind of a tab to attach it with. So I'm just going to leave it at the six inch, I'm going to lightly score. The other one I did, I did a little too hard and I almost ripped my paper. And I'm just going to fold it. 
And so, oh, actually, I should have folded it the other way. So this is going to get attached right here, right? So we're making a longer card. So when we fold it, it's, um, actually, let me show you. This fits in here a little bit, and the fold is off. You can leave it like that. Or you can trim just a hair because the measurements are the same, but when you have folds involved, it kind of eats away a little bit of that space. So I just trimmed up oh, just a tiny bit. So now when I put this here and I fold it down, it's going to fit within. It will fold flat. I have a, a tiny little thing, but it folds flat. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm just going to put a little glue. On the edge here. I'm going to attach that to that, making sure my fold is in alignment with my edge. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so it looks like that, like that. But then you have, you could leave that because it's not that messy looking, or you could just put another layer right there and the same th see how that's not folding quite even though if you measure they're the same it's that fold that takes up a little distance so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna take a tiny little tr just a hair off really just tiny and that will fit and you could always do another color but I just did it the same I think um, Charlotte did it. I'll pull hers out in a second. I think she did hers a different color. So it's going to look like that. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me put some glue down. All right. Like that, like that. Not fun fun little fold and then because it's you could do this you could do a card and leave it the whole length and do like a tri-fold that way sideways um and then I have this piece and I like the scallop because it kind of mimics clouds at least to me but let me stamp on it first actually no I'm gonna glue it on first I'm gonna be daring I'm gonna be daring And this comes from the Scallop Contours die set that I just love. I use it quite a lot. All right. So this one, I put my greeting on this side. That's kind of what Charlotte did. She did her happy birthday on that side. But this one I'm going to stamp on this side just to kind of leave that blank. And I have, excuse me, I have, um, this is another celebration item. Uh, this, so the marble paper, if you spend $50, you get the whole pack for free. This stamp set, you need to spend $100, and then you get this stamp set for free. Um, and the reason being is it's like loaded with stamps. So the one I wanted to use was, thanks for brightening up my day. So I have to find out. The brand, I haven't even used this yet. And I love how they do this, too, because then I don't have to put it back on here. When I'm done, I can just put it back right on there. So it's called Special Moments, and I have a block. And I'm gonna do it, I brought two colors. I'm gonna do this one in green. I wasn't sure which color I wanted to do. So the last thing I want to do is put some clouds because to me this kind of looked cloud-ish. So this one I have some little clouds and these little clouds came with the die set that goes with the rainbows. But you can also get clouds from another die set in the annual catalog. Um, it's called, I think, Give It a Whirl. 
and they have these bigger clouds. There's also a cloud punch in the new spring occasions, um, which is a little bit bigger than this, and it actually lines up with the um, sunshine and rainbows paper too, and I think some stamps. But this is kind of a fun die set. It's called Give It, I think it's called Give It a Whirl. Um, and I haven't even used it for what it's intended for, which is to do these like, which I will, but these like spinny cards. Um, and that's kind of what some of these are for. But I like all the extra stuff. I like the clouds and the stars and the hearts and some of the labels. Um, so push me to use it for what it's really for. <laughs> I need to design stuff. But I keep getting distracted. But anyways, I thought it might be fun to use some of the bigger clouds just to see the difference. So, let's see where we want them. Oh, that's too linear. All right, I think that will do it. So I'm gonna flip this over. Oh, my glue's almost empty. Put this one on so when you open it, the cloud kind of comes up too. This one is going to go here. And then this big fluffy cloud will go right there. I like this glue because it gives me a moment to rearrange. All right. So those are the different. See the little clouds that come with about the rainbow set and then these are the big fluffy clouds and there's one more thing I wanted to show you in case you like like everything neat and tidy if you open it up this is not so neat and tidy so what I did was I cut an extra set of the rainbow rays in the same colors um, I didn't do this yet so I'm gonna tr it should work I'm just going to reverse and put them on this side so that we'll have a rainbow on the inside too. So let's see if we can get it to line up. I'm gonna put this on here because I put extra glue. So I'm just gonna try to line up my pink to the pink. So the edge of it isn't quite as pretty as like the cut edge on this side, but it's prettier than leaving it blank. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this one first, just to make sure I get that lined up and then I can fill in those two. Thank you, Mary Lou. I thought it was pretty clever, like at the last second. <laughs> I try. I think it will look really nice, actually. So then we'll put those there and there. Oops. Mary Lou got to spend, to celebrate my birthday in person with me last night because she's part of my club. And actually, Kim, I think those, I think you're the only two live right now who were there. It was, I had a lot of, I had a, I had a wonderful day yesterday, kind of doing what I love, spending time with really kind, nice people. It was a nice way to spend a birthday. All right, so there we go. And then again, we'll just flip it on this side and I'll trim it on this side. There we go. Oh, look at that. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, I probably should have moved those over just a smidge, but that's all right. I'll just kind of push them down. So there, there, and there. Oh, this is a beautiful card. All inspired by Charlotte, who sent me this one. So that's kind of the great things about cards. Um, and that's why I sent out, not to have you all say happy birthday to me, but I sent out pictures of birthday cards in my email today. So you can see something and do it exactly or get inspired by. So I totally, like this morning, didn't know what we were doing. I looked at her card and I came up with this. So um, get your creativity juices flowing. All right. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. I'm, I'm really happy with it. 
<laughs> so now I'll just have to send it to someone or maybe I'll keep it myself. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and change that one because what a difference, huh? Kind of plain and perfect, like just finished. Finished is the right word. Okay, I think that's all I had to share with you today. I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea and get warm by the fire and then reply to a whole bunch of emails and Facebook messages because I haven't done anything. Um, so thank you for watching. I'm glad you guys liked it. I can see in the comments that you liked it. So that's great. Uh, feel free to share the video if you have a friend who um, wants to make some fun cards um, and let them know kind of what I do and get connected and um, that'd be great. So thank you for watching. I will be back live next Tuesday. Who knows what we're doing? I love your ideas. So let me know. Um, oh, I see Teresa, you joined. Thanks. Um, I think I said hi to everyone who joined. If not, hello. Um, okay. Before I start rambling crazy, um, thank you again for watching. I'm glad I got the text all squared away. So thank you, Jeannie, for fixing that for me. And, um, we're lear I'm learning right along with you every day. Have a great day. Stay warm. If you're in the Northeast, it's like really cold. So stay warm and be safe and healthy. I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.